Welcome to the course Introduction to Computers. In this course, we will follow the book Introduction to Computers by Peter Norton. You can purchase any edition of this book that can be 6th, 7th, 8th or 9th edition. In this lecture, we will see what a computer system is and how a computer system works. So, a computer system consists of hardware and software. Hardware is physical part of the computer system and software are the instructions that are applied on a computer system. So we can say that software plus hardware, this is a computer system. A computer is an electronic device that perform the computation tasks. So the basic definition of a computer system is that a computer is an electronic device and the job of the computer is to compute or calculate. The hardware of a computer system consists of a system unit, input devices, and the third one is output devices. The characteristics of a hardware is that in case of a fault in a hardware, we can repair a hardware or we can install a new hardware device. So we can replace with a new one. Hardware is a physical part of the computer system. The second part was the software. Software are just the instructions that a computer system follow. If there is an error in a software, that is called a bug. To remove a bug in a software, we perform the debugging. Debugging is a process through which we remove a bug in a software system. So, the primary job of a computer system is to perform the calculations. Also, we say that a computer is an electronic device. What is electronic device? Electronic device takes as a input and translate this input into output. But the job of electronic device is to process. In the process steps, a different instructions are applied. So the input is converted into the output. The other devices are called electrical devices. Electrical devices take electrical energy as an input and produce mechanical energy as an output. But the job of a electronic device is to convert input into output. But when an input is converted into the output, different processing activities are applied. The example of an electrical device is fan, washing machine and different electronic devices that we use in our daily life. There are two main categories of a computer system. The first computers were the analog computers. The second category is a digital computer. The analog computers take input in the form of a analog signal and the digital uh, computer takes input in the form of a digital signal. So what is the difference between analog and a digital signal? The analog signal continuously changes with respect to time. For example, this is a time dimension and this is a value dimension. As the time changes, the value continuously 
changes of an analog signal. The second is digital signal. In a digital signal, there are only two values. A signal can be at a low level or high level. The low level is represented as a zero and a high level is represented as a one. So we can say that a digital signal consists of a zero or one. This is called a binary signal. So digital signal is also called a binary signal. This is the major difference between an analog signal and a digital signal. Analog computers process analog signal and or produces output in the form of a analog signal. The digital computer process input in the form of a digital signal or a zero one form and produces output in a digital format.